I'm going to demo how to redact sensitive data that you might want to protect against unauthorized viewing. I've created a file that contains two credit card numbers and a social security number. One credit card number here without spaces, one here with spaces, and a social security number here with dashes. Let's take a look at how we can redact that information. Let's click on privacy information and scroll down to primary account number redaction rules. Let's enable redaction and choose how we want to show those numbers. We're gonna show only the last four digits. We can do several other things, but we're just gonna choose the last four digits. We're gonna to choose to redact it on IBM terminals and redact it while typing. Now we have two methods of detection rules. There's the reflection detection rules and the simple detection rules. Let's take a look at the simple detection rules first, and we're gonna choose detect uh, primary account numbers based on preceding text. I've created a rule here to look for CCN colon, and that'll find that any number to the right of that will be redacted, only showing the last four characters. So let's click OK. And in order to do this, we need to refresh our file. So I've got a macro to exit and come back in. And as you can see now, this credit card number is now redacted since this is the only number on the screen that is preceded by CCN colon. Let's now try the reflection primary account number detection. So let's click on information privacy. We'll scroll down to <clears throat> reflection primary account detection and select that option this time. You notice here are several credit cards types that we're looking for. You can add, modify, and delete these as needed. You also see that we have custom exception expressions. These are used to help eliminate false positives. Again, you can add, modify, and delete these. So let's go ahead and just click OK. We're gonna stay with just showing the last four. Let's click to refresh our file. And you'll notice now that we're still redacting this credit card number without spaces, but now we're also redacting the one with spaces. Let's now go take a look at privacy filters. So let's click back on information privacy. Let's select privacy filters redaction rules. Let's enable redaction in IBM terminals and while typing. I've created one here called SSN to redact the social security number. You can create privacy filters to redact any sort of information you wanted to protect on the screen, a phone number, um, an address, any sort of thing that you could create a regular expression to detect. And again, you can add, modify, and delete these as needed. So now that we've selected that, let's click OK. Let's refresh our file. And you'll notice now that our social security number is also redacted. And now let's demonstrate typing a credit card number in and watch it redact as I'm typing. When you're down at my prompt, I'm just going to type in a valid credit card number format. You can see as I complete the number, it immediately redacts the information as we've set up, leaving just the last four. As I've shown you in this demo, you can see how reflection can help you protect your sensitive data by redacting that information on your screen. Thank you very much.